Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, guys, as you can see, we are back on the solo game here, um, hanging out on our griffin, and that is because, guys, we are going to do a little bit of taming here today. Now, as you can see, I have my Equus Pursuit on, and it does, in fact, look like there is finally an Equus on my solo game. So we're gonna head over there and see if we can't figure out where this Equus is and see if we can't maybe get it tamed up. I am super, super excited about this. Um, I do need to get my stamina back real quick. Yeah, it has been a while. It's been actually a long time since the Equus update came out and this is the first Equus I've actually managed to find on this particular game. So I have been looking for Equus every so often. I will do a lap around the island with the pursuit on just to see if one has spawned in, um, but haven't had any luck until just now. So it should be somewhere in this area. Maybe over here? Where is it? Um, there are raptors, which isn't good. So what I might actually do is kill the raptors, because raptors are horrible and will ruin everything without fail. Alright, there we go. No more raptors. Now let's see if we can figure out where this equus has gone. Um, another raptor, oh my goodness. Get out of here. I'm genuinely worried what will happen if a raptor tries to interrupt- Ah! Great. Very good. Love this. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Raptors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so definitely gotten pounced by the raptors. Can you, like, stop for just a minute? There we go. Okay, gotten pounced by raptors. There's definitely a whole bunch more in the area. I'm gonna have to keep killing them just to, like, make sure the area is clear. I don't even know where the Equus is yet, but I'm so concerned about these darned raptors. Um, okay, so Equus is supposed to be somewhere over here. Hopefully it actually shows up. There's a Carno, there's a Parasaur, there's an Iguanodon and a Fiomia. Um, I'm not seeing it. Oh, and a raptor. No. They can pounce. It doesn't happen all the time, but they can pounce. It's a huge issue. That's a moss chops. That's a raptor. Where is it? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my map real quick. Okay, behind me. So it should be over on this beach. Now, I do know that they can spawn on both this beach and the beach over there. Um, I'm very concerned about all of the bad things in this area. That's a Carno and a raptor both after a Parasaur. Oh my goodness. Let's just not have those be a problem. Okay. Oh my gosh, why are there so many raptors and things? I just want to look for an Equus in peace and not get pounced and not have anything be a major issue for this attempted tame, but I have absolutely no idea where to find this particular creature. Um, perhaps up on a hill. No, more raptors. Oh my goodness, and my stamina is just not regenerating very quickly, which is not helping. Okay. Is it wrong? Did, did it disappear? Because it says it's in this area, and I'm definitely not seeing it. Unless I'm just, like, really missing something here. I am not seeing the Equus like I should be. Okay. No, it says it's basically, like, on this island. That's good. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I'm going to fly around um, for a minute and keep searching. I will bring you guys back, hopefully when I find this thing, wherever it may be. Uh, hopefully it's just like hanging out behind a rock somewhere and I'm just missing it. I really, really hope because I really want to tame this thing. Um, have been looking for one on the single player game forever and that's the first time I've gotten a signal. So I'm really hoping it's still alive and I'm really hoping we can find it. So I will bring you guys back in a little bit. 
Okay, guys, we are back, and apparently there was a bug um, with the first one. There were definitely no equus in that area. I think they may have gotten killed before I was able to get to them. So I did a quick sweep of the map, and it looks like we finally have some more equus in the area. I am super excited about this. Um, that's a 125. Yep, unless one of these is higher level, uh, we're probably going for the 125. 15? Probably not. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the crouch button for this, um, just because I don't actually have that much ghillie on, I just have some primitive ghillie boots on, and I'm hoping that the crouch will be enough to get me close enough to this horse. Yeah, definitely want this 125. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my soothing bombs ready. Alright, so we're gonna sneak up after this guy, and hopefully we'll get close enough to, um... Hopefully he doesn't turn around. Ugh. Don't step on me. Alright, I just want to get close enough. Nope. Maybe. Oh, they're so... They just trot just quickly enough that I can't quite catch them. Yes, okay. I got him soothing bombed. I'm going to back off for a second here. Grab some carrots. And get all ready to passive tame this guy. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has been a long time coming um, to get this guy. Unfortunately, he is going into the water, which is probably the worst area he could go into. Of course. Oh my gosh. I'm going to wait till he comes back up. Uh, none of these other horses are females. Otherwise, I would try to tame one of them as well. I mostly just want this one male Hopefully he gets out of the river before any Mega Piranha spawn. That would not be good. Don't get attacked, buddy. Alright, and mostly I'm keeping my distance here because I can't actually crouch in the water. Um, cool, so let's go ahead and sneak up on him. Yes, alright. Perfect! Okay, so I'm not sure this is actually going to work as far as, um, as far as taming goes. I may have to hop off and let him run around and do his thing. Um, the taming bar doesn't always work if you're doing the riding. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we're going to be able to do the riding tame today, which is awesome. So the key is to give them a carrot before you actually hop on, um, because that'll kick off the taming bar and then it should go as, as normal. Because I've definitely tried to hop on without giving them a carrot first. And that seems to mess up the taming on these guys, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, like, you don't get a taming bar properly, which is very frustrating. Oh my gosh, he's just going crazy. <laughs> this is so good. I'm so excited that we're finally getting an equus on the solo game, guys. It's amazing. I just have to concentrate really hard to not mess up giving him the carrots whenever he starts to freak out. You want another one? Come on, 50%. Surely you'll get hungry soon. I like that they stay, there we go, in a much tighter area than they do on PC. Like in PC, they tend to run all over the place, usually straight into a bunch of raptors because that's, um, that's how that game goes. But uh, on mobile, they stay in a pretty tight little radius, which is really convenient, actually. It definitely helps. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is such a good level, too, for our first sequence. I honestly thought I was going to have to settle, settle for, like, a level 10, so this is amazing. And as long as I don't mess up these last two carrot feedings, we should be all set here. And not only that, but I will also have an Ascendant Equus saddle to use on these guys, which is even better. All right, got to wait for him to do his thing here. Come on now. You know you want a carrot. <laughs> it's just running in circles. It's great. I don't know why he thinks that's going to throw me off. <laughs> okay, one more carrot should do it. He's actually really pretty too. His stripes are kind of almost shiny, glittery, um at least under the current like, at least under the current lighting, he actually looks a little bit shiny, and I'm kind of really enjoying it. Um, sometimes the equus don't come in that great of colors, but I think this guy actually looks pretty cool, so I'm pretty excited about him. 
Hopefully he also has good Equus power. Um, I'm probably not going to do a full-on Equus breeding program until we get, like, the, uh, what is it, the, the eerie storage, um, implant storage thing that we're going to be doing when the dungeons come out. Um, at that point, I might actually start trying to breed on the solo game, but until then, I just don't have the tame slots for it. Yes! Oh. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, and there's a Rex nearby. Oh my goodness. I gotta be careful of the Rex, but, uh, oh, Got a gorgeous horse here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Just want to get a really good close-up. Oh, maybe it's my magma skin that's making him kind of glow. Either way, this is a very, very cute horse. I am super happy about that. Um, actually gonna go ahead and check out his stats as well. All right. Not bad on the stats. That melee actually seems pretty high for an Equus of this level. 187. His Equus power is only 265, so that is, in fact, um, very, very low. I'm actually not going to go ahead and name this guy um, because I want you guys to have name suggestions. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn my pursuit off for now, um, which... I can always just highlight him later to get the saddle. But yeah, guys, if you have a name suggestion for this particular Equus, please do leave it in the comment section down below because I really want to see that. Um, and I'm probably going to take this guy back to base to uh, basically figure out exactly what I want to do with him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop him there. I want to check out the other Equus that were in the area if I can, because if there is a female nearby, we'll go ahead and do a double taming today, and if not, um, then it will just be this one. I'm going to make sure that Rex is not coming this way. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so that Equus is there. You are going really far. That's the 55 male, and this one, I think that's the Equus over there. That's the 15 male. Okay. So, doesn't look like there's any other Equus here on the North Shore. Um, I already did fly along the whole thing, so it looks like it's just that little group of three Equus that spawned in. Um, basically right as I was coming into that area, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing any others coming in here. Okay, cool. Well, that just means we only have one, but you know what? I am very, very happy with that one. It is a very good level, um, a very good horse indeed. Definitely a great start to, <laughs> definitely a great start to my Equus um, obsession that I do sometimes get on Arc. So, very excited about this particular tame, guys. Again, name suggestions, please leave those in the video comments down below. I'm gonna take his implant fly back to base and then request him there and we're going to take this guy out for a little test drive um, in an area that is slightly less dangerous than the actual beach itself uh, because as you can see there's rexes there's raptors um, sometimes aloes and carnos spawn out here as well it's usually just not a very safe area for equus to spawn in so i'm going to go ahead and go back to base request him back there and then we should be all set to take our horse out for a little bit of a test drive here. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, I actually did go ahead and make up a saddle for this guy. I decided that I really wanted to use the saddle on him, particularly because, um, well, their saddle's really awesome because it is a, basically a mortar and pestle that you can take on the go, which is super handy. So I'm going to go ahead and leave his implant here. Um, I think I'm just going to throw it in the smithy. I really just don't want to lose his implant because that would be bad. Um, Equus can be a little bit squishy, and so I worry a little bit about what would happen if I, uh, if I happened to leave him kind of out adrift. It would not be good. All right, let's see. Somewhere, I thought I had a spare collar, but we might go without one. Um, now what I am going to do is go ahead and gather up some fiber because Equus, in their saddle, you're supposed to be able to make a lasso. I'm not sure how well that works. I haven't really tested it out much on the game yet um, here for mobile, but I did see the blueprint in there, so I'm hoping, really, really hoping I can make it up if I could get any fiber. I may have to just go pull some out of my smithy because I've only gotten like two fiber here. Um, oh my gosh. What a pain. Okay, let's do this. 
fiber. I have so many resources. There we go. We'll just take a bunch. <laughs> Can't hurt. Okay. So we should be able to make a lasso. Um, that would be extra cool. Let's see if we can do this here. Um, and thatch. Alright, well, we'll go hit a tree. We'll go hit a tree while we're on the horse. That'll work. That's a pretty tree. Let's go kill this tree. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, we'll go ahead and make a couple of those now. I should be able to equip those and use them while we are riding the horse. So let's go ahead and head out here. Um, let's go out the other side where there's a few less nasty things except for maybe raptors. We're going to go test this out. I really want to lasso some things. I really want to run around on the horse. Um, they are a ton of fun. Like, I just really enjoy the equus as a general mount. And so I really would like to see... Yes! Is it still on? No! Okay, so it breaks if you leave the view. What? Okay, and apparently if you break one, you break all of them. So you can only use one lasso at a time. That seems like a bug. Um, you should definitely have more than one use for it. What? What just happened? Okay, it looks like lassos are buggy, unfortunately. It did almost work. And it's gone. Okay. Apparently lassos are not going to work. That's so sad because it um, it definitely worked that first time. It did work to bring the creature closer in. Um, I was kind of hoping it would work more. Can we... Eh. Yes, got him knocked out. Get out of here. Alright, and then we knocked out the other one. Awesome. So, in case you didn't know, um, equus are especially great because they do a lot of torpor damage so actually if you're out and kicking something that's high level trying to basically defend yourself from getting killed um the kick can do torpor and not only can it save you from whatever is trying to attack you it can knock out whatever's attacking you and basically you can tame it then so yeah it's a really useful feature i often use it to tame raptors in the early game if i'm lucky enough to stumble across an equus because they are unfortunately a super rare mount um as evidenced by it taking several months for me to finally find one on this game um and i actually think that's probably because i think some changes were made to the single player game because currently uh i'm getting a lot more respawns on the game than i was before the last couple of updates and so I think what's happened is that respawns basically have been fixed so that they are, um, they, basically creatures will despawn when you leave an area, which was not happening to me before, so it's very cool that it's happening now. You can also use this to tame dodos, like mass tame dodos. That should knock them out. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna be rude and, like, kill all of these things now, because I don't actually need these dodos, and I need the levels. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and gather up some berries as well. Just to have them around. So, um, as I was saying, the Equus inventory is, in fact, a mortar and pestle. As you can see here, you can create all of the items in here, which is super useful on the go. It's especially useful for crafting narcotics. In fact, again, if I do happen to come across an Equus before I have a real base set up, um, I'll often use the Equus as kind of a mobile base until I can find a place that I actually want to live. So they're, they're pretty awesome. They're a super versatile mount, and I do wish they were more common on the island just because they are so, so useful in the early game especially. I'm going to see if I can kill this Dillo. Get knocked out. Oh, it's a 130. Get knocked out. I'm not hitting him. There he goes. He's unco He's gonna go unconscious soon. I just need to get, like, one more... Maybe two. There he goes. It's tempting to tame him, but, um... It's just a Dillo, and I am low on tame slots, so I am gonna go ahead and kill this one. Disappointing as it is... <laughs> What's really nice about this is that I have been seeing a lot more high levels and a lot more of this type of spawns, like the Equus seems much more likely to spawn in 
um, since those updates, since I've now seen um, two Equus bonds, although one I never actually saw the Equus, I just got the marker for it with the Pursuit. So, uh, cool changes to the solo game. I'm really excited about them. I think they've done a pretty good job of making the quality of life improve, although it does mean that you need to carry all of your things with you if you're going out to tame a creature, because now, if you leave the area, you do risk it despawning before you get back to it. So that's incredibly frustrating, um, or could be, I imagine, if you had a creature you wanted to tame and then left the area to go get stuff to tame it and came back and found it gone. So definitely watch out for that, but otherwise, if you basically just carry trank darts and a gun around with you, you should be mostly okay for most things. Um, and as I said, it should be much easier now to find things like the Equa spawn, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these things out. Yep, you're gone. I'm gonna kill you with a kick. And then that one. Let's see if I can catch him. He's definitely torpored up because he is running. Come here. Come here. I can't get in front of him. There we go. Perfect. Alright, and there are some terror birds. Wow. I didn't think terror birds spawned over here. Alright, well, we're gonna knock these guys out. They do have incredibly high torpor, but we should be okay. Our Equus has a decent amount of health. All right, we definitely got one out. Okay, and then that one is torpored up because he's running. Cool. I wonder if we can... If he gets stuck on the rocks, we might be okay. Got him. <laughs> well, I could tame a terror bird, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy for the levels for the Equus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, guys, so Equus are a pretty good mount to have. I would definitely be careful of things like Raptors because they can pounce you off of the Equus, and I would be very careful of anything super large like a Rex because Equus, they really don't have that great of, um, of stats compared to some of those creatures. So they're great for getting around. They're pretty tough, but they're definitely not as tough as, say, a Trike. And so they still can get killed pretty easily. So just watch out for that um, and be a little bit careful with them if you do have a low-level one especially. Now, I do wish this Equus was a little bit faster. He is kind of slow, but uh, it is what it is. Oh, we got some scorpions. Get out of here. I don't need you. I'm gonna kick him. Kick him until he's down. Finally. Alright, he got one hit on me. Ah, no, don't stop to poop. Don't stop to poop. That's what gets ya. Alright, now he's running away. <laughs> I really wanted to just knock him out so I could kill him easy, but they do run, and that makes it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, there we go. Right, so as you can see, they don't do a whole lot of damage with their first attack, but the buck attack does pretty well. Um, definitely keeps a lot of <laughs> keeps a lot of things at bay. It's it's again not a ton of damage, but it's definitely a ton of torpor, and so that helps a ton with just getting around and avoiding too much trouble on the game in general. See if I can knock this guy out as well. He was pretty hurt, so I'm not sure it'll happen. Um, can we run? There we go. It's getting a little bit dark here on the game. One second, guys. I'm just gonna see. Oh, it's a 150 scorpion. Hmm. I don't really see the need to tame a scorpion. Um, but it is a 150. That is so tempting. How many tame slots do I have? 42 out of 60. All right. <laughs> All right. This is also going to turn into a scorpion taming episode. Um, scorpion's not super, super useful, but, uh, you know, I have one. I actually don't have any spoiled meat on me. Maybe we can't do that. Oh, we can't. I need spoiled meat. It's all back at base. He's definitely going to despawn before I get back there. 
Well, it is just a scorpion, so I don't feel too, too bad about this. Um, I am going to go ahead and kill this guy. Actually, I may take... I'll take his implant, just in case I change my mind in the next day or so, because I do have spoiled meat back at base. And this way I can revive tame it, um, if I should so choose, but I'm not sure how much amber that's going to cost. And in the meantime, my equus gets all those experience points, which are pretty good things to have. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. They do, like, no damage. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So, the thing I like to level up on an Equus is definitely speed, because speed is probably the most useful thing for getting around on the island, um, and just not dying in general. Level up speed, you'll zoom around, nothing will catch you. It's, uh, it's a good system. <laughs> If you also level up melee, that will also increase the amount of torpor they do per kick, I believe, so that is also a useful thing to level up. And then, of course, they are really a pack mount, so leveling up weight is always uh, a good thing as well. I'm going to go ahead and pull up God Console so we can light up the night a little bit. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. I am just so super happy that we finally found an Equus, and this is actually... A very, very good one to have. This is a nice stretch of beach. Kind of enjoy just running around on it. I wonder if we can jump this thatch. Yes! <laughs> I feel like I need to have a, uh, a race course for Equus now. Um, probably not on the solo game, but probably will do some sort of Equus event at some point on one of the servers that I run because it's too much fun not to do, I think. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and yeah let's take a look here at our beautiful little equus oh my goodness it's so good guys it really is equus are amazing you should definitely try to get one if you haven't already they're really fun they're really cute and i really enjoy riding around on them for sure so guys if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out and if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.